everyone welcome back to my channel now as promised i'm back today with a brand new video um it is a vintage haul i'm absolutely obsessed with the app i downloaded it over a year ago to get rid of a few bits and bobs that were just hanging around hoarding you know in the attic in my wardrobe in the cupboards now if you do hear the footprints around me Doris is still with me. I currently film in the dog's bedroom. Um, this is currently our study dog's area. She's currently just sitting underneath my leg right now. So yeah, if you hear some little footprints and some stuff being moved around, that's her. So yeah, what is she doing? She's found a ball, that makes sense. So she's got a ball now. Hopefully she'll sit in her little crate and have a munch on that. But no, she's left now. So we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I'm back with a Vinted haul. I absolutely love Vinted. I buy and sell on there all the time. I, like I said, I downloaded it a year ago to clear out some things that are just hanging around and just don't fit me and don't suit me. And I just don't need in my life, you know, all that baggage. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I downloaded it. And I think, to be honest with you, it's one of the best apps I've ever used to sell on. And yeah, I just think overall, there are some really cool pieces on Vinted. Absolute bargains as well. Most of the things I buy are under £10. And that's including the postage and the buyer's fee. So every time you buy something on Vintage, you do pay for the postage and the buyer's fee as well as the actual product itself. So you will find a lot of the sellers will advertise their clothing items to kind of compensate for that, if that makes sense. If you want more details on the whole Vinted buying and selling, I will do a video if there is a need for it and you guys want to see that. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, let's crack on with my first item, which I'm going to share with you guys, which is a black faux leather jacket. Everything's on the floor. I don't really have anywhere else to put it for now. So that's why I'm bending down that way if you're curious. So this one here is a black faux leather jacket. It's from H&M. It's a size large, so it's quite oversized, which I like, especially with blazers. I hate blazers or jackets that are just too tight and restricting. And especially for autumn and winter coming up now, you can layer this easily with a jumper, turtleneck for that cosy vibe. But yeah, it's just a full length sort of black blazer. Um, it's pretty basic. There's no button details or anything like that. But it was something I don't have in my wardrobe. I've had leather jackets, like cropped ones and stuff like that, but nothing like a blazer sort of form. So I just thought I'd go with this one. I really, really liked it. And I can't remember how much most of the prices are for this haul, I'll be honest with you. But as I said, most of the items that I buy are at least under £10. There are a few that are not which are like trainers and coats and stuff like that but i think for this one probably about six pounds on vintage and then buying the postage and the fees probably about eight or nine pounds after that but yeah absolutely love this it's really really nice i've worn it a couple of times already just because we're coming into that season now where we can wear these things so yeah this next item from vintage is a skinny dip like a lightweight denim jacket material it's in a size large again it's got a really nice paisley checkered print all over it it's very multicolored very there's a lot going on with this jacket basically me and my mum are planning on going to the isle of Wight festival next year so i kind of got a little bit overexcited and started planning my outfits for that already so i'm thinking this little denim jacket with some nice sunny some shorts a little bralette i think it'd be really really nice but yeah it's a really good find on vintage really quirky and it just fits right in with my wardrobe because i love pieces like this that are just a little bit different so these next two items which i'm going to share with you guys is part of a bundle which i picked up for like under 10 pounds i think this one was £1.50 and then this one was £2 so again with the postage and stuff like that it probably worked out around £6 for the two. I really really like this shirt I think it's really really cool and a really good layer to add to any sort of outfit all times of the year I think. Um, so yeah you can button it down, button it up, have it underneath a jumper and this one is from Cameo Rose which I believe they sell in Asda quite a lot lately. It's in a size 12. It's a really nice oversized kind of shirt. It's got a checkered pattern all over it in the black and white. So yeah that's that one. The item which I bought with it as part of a bundle is this sparkle sequin sort of jumper. Again we're coming into that season now where we can wear a little bit of glitter, a little bit of sparkle especially towards December time for Christmas. I just like things like this in my wardrobe. You just never know when you're going to need it and especially like I said December coming up I think it's going to go well with um, some black flares as you can see it's really really glittery and I just think it looks great so I absolutely love this little find so moving on to another jumper that I picked up. This one here is from Shein and it's in a size large. Quite oversized, quite big large. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but that Shein size is for you. It's basically a nice light blue jumper. It's got these smiley faces all the way at the front, but unfortunately we don't have anything on the back. They didn't actually advertise the back on Vinted, but 
I wasn't too fussy because either way, at this time of year, I'm going to be wearing like some sort of coat with it. So it doesn't really matter what's going on at the back, if I'm being honest. But yeah, absolutely love the baby blue colour, love the yellow, love the design. I think it looks really, really cool. Moving on to this next jumper here. This one is from Primark. It's in a size large um, and it's a really cool, funky, light pink and red zebra print cropped jumper. Really, really like this. It's really funky, really cool. You'll probably find me wearing this in a couple of YouTube videos coming up because it is getting cold. My house is getting a little bit cold at the moment. And even though it's Primark and Primark's already quite affordable, there are a lot of Primark clothing on Vinted. It's one of the most popular brands on, on Vinted, if I'm being honest. So you can get quite a few finds on there. And just because it's Primark, don't let it throw you off because this was two pounds, you know, two pounds. To buy it in the store is gonna cost you around 10. So it's still saving you money. It's still a good item. It's something I probably wouldn't have seen if I went to Primark because there's so much to look at. So yeah, really, really happy with this find. And I think it's really quirky. And it has got the um, pattern all the way around, which I love pink and red together. I think it's really, really cool. It's a really good combo and I think it looks really nice on. So love that. So I'm just gonna show you these two at the same time, just because they're the same sort of items. So first up, we have this lilac turtleneck um, bodysuit, as you can see here. Um, this one is from Pretty Little Thing, I believe. Yeah, Pretty Little Thing. I think it's in a size medium. It's just a nice layering piece to have in your wardrobe. It's a nice lilac sort of shade. And again, it's just something that you need in your wardrobe always. I love lilac at the moment. It's one of my favorite colors. I wear it a lot. I don't know why, but I just feel like lately I'm really, really drawn to the color. Another bodysuit which I picked up from Vinted is this really cute Ditsy Daisy floral um, bodysuit. Again, it's full length turtleneck at the top and then it's a bodysuit um at the bottom as well i think this one is from Stra oh it's from h&m h&m size large i was going to say something that i couldn't pronounce so thank god for that <laughs> um so yeah this one is a really nice soft like old-fashioned sort of print which i really like this goes well with jumpsuits and stuff like that jumpsuit and the leather jacket which i picked up i have actually worn that out before i think it looks really really cool together moving on to my next item we have a blue roll neck jumper and this one is from george asda i paid six pounds for this and that's not including the postage and the fees but I just don't have anything as bold as this for winter in my wardrobe. Most of my chunky knitwear is like grey and black. And so I don't have anything like this colour. And blue is one of my favourite colours. So I had to pick this one up. I just love the overall fit. It's quite boxy. It's a cropped fit. But it's really slouchy and comfortable to wear. I've worn this a couple of times. Easily becoming one of my favourite items in my wardrobe for autumn and winter. What I like the most about this jumper is we've got this really nice balloon sleeve sort of detail in here. It makes it really slouchy. Really comfortable to wear. I just love it. And for as i think it's really impressive i think it's a really great jumper by the way if my throat and my my voice sounds a little bit husky i've been feeling a little bit under the weather for a couple of weeks now like my nasal system my throat has just not been itself um it's just a little bit my voice is a little bit more deeper i don't know if it's all the screaming i've been doing at all the tours i've been going to and all the things that have been going on in my life i don't know anyway my next item is a really nice co-ord set this one is from fnf which is tesco's it's in a size 14 at the top and a 12 at the bottom i really like this on it looks like a jumpsuit it's really nice to wear i hope to wear it in spring and summer next year it's one of those outfits which you can just throw together a pair of sandals pair of trainers or whatever throw like a shoulder bag on and it just creates an outfit for you really effortless but really cool it's in a black and pink sort of print as you can see i really love the print i think it's really nice and for tesco's i think it's an absolute great find this one was like three or four pounds this is a trouser and shirt set it looks really really cool on and again you can just wear this in so many different ways moving on to my next item here it's a checkered co-ord set from primark there was a little bit of false advertisement with this one here mainly because the top is an extra small and the bottoms were a medium it was advertised as a medium for both so i was a little bit shocked by that but luckily for me somehow the top fits me so i don't know how that works it's really really stretchy to be fair a really great material for primark really really comfortable set and i think i can wear this all times of year it doesn't really matter but a nice long wintry coat with this it's a really really jazzy set and i absolutely love it i think this one at the top can go really really well as a under layer um, and the trousers you can wear it alone and you can wear it as a set so again i absolutely love anything in my wardrobe that i can wear multiple ways and get the use of so another co-ord set which I picked up from Vinted is this, again, F&F Tesco brand. It's a nice snake print, silvery grey and white and black 
detail top and bottom again i bought this because a top and bottom set is just a really easy outfit to wear especially when you're traveling around or exploring somewhere so with the shirt we have a wide leg trouser as you can see in the try on bit love the snake print it's one of my favorites it's a really nice oversized casual sort of fit and you can just wear this again in multiple different ways god i really have gone on a bit of a spend with this one haven't i um so yeah my next item is this black starry oversized sort of maxi dress i love this star print i love the black i love anything with a little bit of glitter and shimmer in it's just a really really great piece that i just couldn't say no to it is a bit big for me it isn't a size large but when i was scrolling through vinted i didn't actually intend to buy this it's just one of those buys where you just think i have to buy it but i can just sort of cinch the waist in here with a belt a pair of a nice jacket and it doesn't really make a huge difference moving on to my third till last item again another coward set this is a leopard print shirt and trouser set from tesco again in a size 12 this time just a really nice comfy outfit i love leopard print anyway i really love this brown color it's a really nice shade it's kind of like a hot chocolatey mocha sort of color it's quite sheer though so i probably have to wear some kind of turtleneck or layering underneath if i do want to wear it for um the next couple of months because it is going to be chilly this year i can feel it with like asda tesco's and places like that i feel like the clothes are really underrated if i'm being honest that you know it's not embarrassing to shop at these places in my opinion if it's great quality great item and you like it what's wrong with wearing it you don't have to have everything branded in your wardrobe to look good if that makes sense so my last two pieces which i've got to share with you guys are a little bit different i've got two coats to share mainly because now that i've got two dogs I just felt like my wardrobe is just really lacking clothing to walk dogs in. I've got walking clothes and gym wear and stuff like that, but not enough outdoor wear, which isn't practical. I've had a dog for two years, so I don't know why that's happened. I've just basically allowed myself to get absolutely drenched and muddy on the dog walks so far. But now I need to protect myself. I've got two dogs, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. With that being said, I picked up this really nice vintage, vintage? Vintage coat from a seller on Vinted god that was a tongue twister it's a really nice bold color it is a ski jacket as you can see on the sleeves there um we've got this like knitted material in between which is really really comfortable we've got the red and the green together this is the hood at the back i'll be honest it slides on really really nicely i love it i love this bit here with the knitted part all around here it's just super cozy and i cannot wait to wear this when i walk the dogs on a rainy day now which i was absolutely dreading before but now i can look forward to it this one is more of a pricey spend for me this one was 17 pounds including the postage and the buyer's fees so i just thought it was worth it because it's something i really really needed rather than wanted practical ways of spending which is good so my last item is another dog walking coat it's a raincoat again it's quite old-fashioned it's quite vintage this one is from jack murphy i don't know who that is or what brand that is it's in a size 12 it's a proper outdoor coat as you can see here the hood detaches as well so if you don't if i don't want it i don't know why i always say if you don't want it when i'm the one who has it okay um so if i want to detach the hoods i can but it's a really nice coat and it's quite full length i mean i'm quite short so this is basically like wearing a duvet outside so that's going to be perfect for me super cozy i might even trip over on it who knows but it's a really nice material waterproof coat that i can wear walking the dogs um at this time of year again love the strawberry sort of color this one again was one of my most expensive pieces i picked up for a while i think i bought this for around 18 pounds just because it's a really good high value sort of item to have nice full length waterproof coat to wear whilst walking the dogs just another need that i needed so yeah really really cool love that coat so there we have it that is everything which i picked up from this vintage haul this time if you guys want to see part two of this if you want to see more videos like this then do let me know in the comment section down below this haul has been so overdue i've been desperate to share with you everything that i picked up over the past couple of months but just haven't had that little spark in me to do that so here we are if you have enjoyed watching today's video then please make sure you give this a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the future i've got quite a few ideas planned um before i kickstart my mental health podcast sort of chats with you which i'm still sort of scripting out still trying to figure out where i want to go with that properly before i don't, I don't want to rush into it because one of those things where i think needs a little bit of prep work a little bit of time to sort of get into so that's all for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video bye